guess who's got a new project? Well, it's not really a new, new project. I wrote about it on my blog. Not my vlog, my blog. Yes, I have both. Um, but yes, I actually wrote something on my blog. Um, and I'll link it in the description below so you can have a proper read of what it's all about. But essentially, it's a first-person Metroidvania made within the Doom engine, but probably with some very heavy modifications and scripting, so it probably won't feel very much like Doom when it's completed. I, um, I've been thinking a lot about it, and I've come up with, or I'm coming up with a sort of Bible to base my initial design off. Uh, things are probably going to change, a lot of it is probably going to change, um, things are going to get added, removed, um, and it may well look completely different to what my current design looks like. But I have something in the works. And today, well, the thing is, I um, when I was... I need to stop scratching my ear during vlogs, I notice I do that a lot. When I was uh, researching how to design such a game and looking at some of the uh, more popular and influential Doom wads, um, particularly one called the Mucus Flow. Did I mention that on another vlog? I can't remember now. Um, I was also looking at how Doom was made like behind the scenes, so how some of the graphics were made, and I kind of knew already what, what that looked like, but um, I went a bit more in-depth into the research. I already knew that I kind of wanted to make my game's graphics in the same sort of way. Realise that it's going to be a human, humongous job, this, this game, but, you know, it can be a slow burner of a project. It's supposed to be retro style anyway, so it's, it's never going to... It's always going to be a retro style thing, you know what I mean? Um, so, the way Doom's graphics were made was mostly from models and photos of toys, basically. Um, something I didn't realise is that certain enemies... There is a specific enemy uh, called the Pinky Demon. And half of that is based on a model that was made um, by id while they were making the game. And half of like, the animations are based on a Jurassic Park toy, which is quite good. So he, there's this there's a picture of the sprite in, um, in development... And half of it, the top of the half of it is the Pinky Demon graphic, and the bottom half of it is like a photo of a of a dinosaur. Pretty cool. And I want to make my graphics a bit like that. So I went into town today to peruse some of the crappy toy guns you can get. Um, the theme is going to be a a cartoon adventure. I want it to be light-hearted, fun, silly. I don't want it to be eighteen plus necessarily. Uh, so, I wanted silly, uh, excitingly colourful weapons to go in my game. I don't want everything to be grey and brown, basically. Uh, and I found, well, I found a couple of, of things, and one of them I bought, and the other one I wish I'd bought, but I didn't really know how much it cost. I didn't have a price ticket on it. So, this is what I ended up with. Uh, it's a very, well, it, it's, a, it's a fake Nerf gun. I have disposed of the the um the foam darts simply because what the heck am I going to do with them I fired them once at my wife and she wasn't very happy about it um but realistically there's I'm I'm not going to use it as a as a nerf gun um it is just a very well I think it's the sort of aesthetic I'm going for it's it's bright green to start with and it's the cheesiest sci-fi thing you could imagine um, it's probably based on an existing design. I'm, I don't recognise it, um, but, it, well, maybe you will. And I got it because it looks like it could have some, some mileage to it. So let's just, like I said, Doom, Doom weapons are all photos of guns that have been edited. Um, I think the shotgun is pretty much just a shotgun, but most of them are edited uh models of guns um, and so I saw this and if you just look at it from this angle it's going to be very fuzzy on camera uh, but 
that could be a gun if you just sort of cover up the yeah that's not it's not going to look amazing if you cover up the handle then that that itself could be a gun like with two barrels um of course that that could also be a gun if you imagine that that's being viewed from behind when you're holding it uh, but I don't think that looks quite as good. And besides, I saw a much better toy gun for. Um, well, I've got I've got a few weapons in mind, and and there's one that I think this particular toy gun would be perfect for. It was brilliant. It it looked kind of similar to this, but it was about a two thirds of the size. Uh, tiny little thing. It had three barrels, and most crucially, it had a dinosaur's head. Just. It was like there. It was brilliant, and I ch I, I, I want to use it partly because I can actually see a benefit to having a three-barreled gun, and partly because it just looked amazing. The game stars a dinosaur, so it seems it seems like too good an opportunity to miss having a having a stupid plastic dinosaur gun as your main weapon so i may find out how much that cost hopefully it's not expensive um because toy guns turns out they're stupidly expensive these days this was this was two quid which i'm fine paying for a for a, you know a reasonable bit of mold and it's not a bad toy uh side note i do i do kind of abhor toy guns but let's not get into that um, but like most of them, and there were some that were smaller than this and, and less quality, like a fiver, most of the ones, like the ones I used to get when I was little, the rifles, they're like a tenner and even 15 quid, some of them, I just think, well, that's ridiculous for a bit of plastic. Anyway, clearly they sell. Um, anyway, that's, uh, that's been today's interesting little adventure and i am looking forward to getting that stupid dinosaur gun and showing out showing everybody uh, that could mm, i don't think i'll have the chance to do a show until saturday actually because well saturday is a very important day indeed meetup day um but anyway that's all for today so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow